It was late December, and we made our way through snowy mountain passes to reach Oregon's Lapine State Park. We had reservations for one of the deluxe cabins for a few days during the Christmas holiday. Cabin 40 has three rooms, including a living room with kitchen area, separate bedroom, and a bathroom with a shower. The living room futon folds down to a double bed, and there is a double twin bunk combo in the bedroom. There are five deluxe cabins at Lapine State Park, and each one is equipped with an in-house shower and bathroom rare in the Oregon State Park lodgings. These deluxe cabins are also ADA accessible, with an entry ramp to the side of the cabin, low door thresholds, holding bars in the restrooms, and a pull-down shower bench. Let's take a look around the cabin. The cabin outdoor space includes a large picnic table and a fire ring with a half grate. A gas barbecue grill with propane is also included in the rental. Nearby, there's a large field and the restrooms and shower building for the other campers. These are comfortably heated and I found both the restroom and the shower room to be very clean. The field is also where you'll find the South Loop Campers Clubhouse, with games, art supplies, a lending library, and some displays. An open area for all campers during the day. While some snow removal equipment was stored in a portion of the clubhouse during our stay, it's a big space with plenty of room for several people. As we headed out of camp on our first hike, we passed a few of the standard cabins also in the area. They have heaters, two double beds, but do not have the bathrooms. Before we knew it, we were on the trail system, part of 14 miles of paths, much of it skirting the beautiful Deschutes River. Even in winter, you can find wildlife, lots of rabbits, squirrels, and little birds can be seen, and occasionally deer or elk could wander through. In this high desert subalpine forest during the year, you can also find other Pacific Northwest animals, and though it isn't common to see them much, 
There are also bear, mountain lions, and now even wolves. Wildlife encounters are rare, but it's always a good idea to observe the area you're hiking in, just like anywhere you'd hike, really, and look up once in a while. The Deschutes is a beautiful river, and I've spent many afternoons swimming in it, although without the ice, and usually in July and August. It's a popular place for campers to float in the summer, on inner tubes, or sit on kayaks. Back at the cabin, the temperature had dropped quite a bit, so we decided to build a fire and watch the almost full moon through the pines. We could hear coyotes far off yapping and singing. It was Christmas Eve, and my husband and I talked about the past year and the one right around the corner. Most of all, we watched the fire burn, happy for the warmth so we could see the stars come out above us in the clear, cold sky. The next morning, looking out the window, snow was starting to fall, just in time for Christmas. Mm -hmm.